Okay, we're rolling. Yeah, hi, Jenny. Uh, I'm in the movies, and uh, I'm glad you're the first uh, part of the audience that mm -hmm. I'll have. Anyway, <laughs> I thought I'd help you a little bit. Uh, not that you don't already know this, but over the years, I, I evolved to this and that, and it works very well for me. Uh, this, as you can see, is a ruler. It's an extra one I have, and I'm going to send it to you. But basically, you place this at the base of the patient's nose, like so. Then, while it's there, you then put a little identifying mark in the area where the lip ends and the chin begins. It could be a spot, or perhaps it'll be the natural anatomy of the patient. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the point that you check for your VOD, vertical occlusal dimension, uh, in a phonetic sense. And so, I have the patient, I want to turn a little fast, and the essential of doing that is watch where the S's are in 6 and 7. That's where you want this bottom marker to be placed, next, right across from the identifying point. Then after that, I have them uh, do the word real fast, Mississippi. Repeat it several times, just to help me know for sure that the 6 and 7 and counting 1 to 10 worked. And then you move that VOD marker accordingly to line up with that, that area. Uh, that's about it, except the VOD for the bite registration is about two millimeters up from the VOD you got during a phonetic test. Many, many times that is right on, right where they should be, except perhaps if one part of the dentition or the dentures are worn a lot, you may go three millimeters, but invariably I have found that the patient, an older patient especially, that has had denture for 10 or 20 years, will not accept what you really should do for a corrected VOD. You have to pretty much go to what they had and maybe increase it slightly, two millimeters. Sometimes I'll increase it uh, two millimeters Rearticulate the case, then grind the occlusion back down a little bit by uh, uh, bite registration on, on uh, articulating paper, and then reducing on the occlusal plane of the lower, most often the lower. And uh, there's another reason for that, but we won't get into that now. And sometimes you and I will talk about it, and I'll tell you everything I know. Uh, check it above can be made at the try-in appointment and some slight corrections may be necessary by resetting usually posterior teeth. Getting back to when we did the bite registration, if they've bitten wax, and usually I haven't bitten the wax whether they need it or not, because if you got your upper and lower teeth, many times just to wear facets on the occlusion is enough to articulate the case. But uh, I'd like to have them use wax because then I can mark the center of the face in that wax, then I can mark how long that lip is in the uh, wax, in a horizontal marking, and then doing that, I'm pretty accurate at times, but I try to have the patient talk to see how much tooth they show. I show nothing, my lips are lazy, but see how much tooth they show during talking and smiling or whatever, and I may make some adjustments according to that other than just the line of the lip. Yeah, I've had it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know more, there's more to throw at you, and uh, one of them is that in the lower arch, and I learned this late, I didn't uh, know for a long, long time, but if you want stability in that lower denture, especially in a person that doesn't have much ridge left, then try to go back and capture that depression in the area just ahead of where the mandibular nerve enters the mandible. If you can capture that and then have the extension of the denture coming a little bit into that area, that denture will have a lot of stability that you wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, I have one patient that we worked a year with her on it before I caught on exactly what to do with her, and all she now all she now needs is a little adhesive in the anterior area, and she's happy as heck. Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Get the beer sign. There's the yeah. beer sign. Stop in if you ever have a chance, or call me, or I'll call you, uh, I'll throw at you whatever you think uh, you might need, and maybe I can help it. And uh, I, I focused on dentures for uh, forever, and uh, I've been doing this for 50 years now. Yep, I'd say you know what you're Bye. talking about. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>